Large round wall clocks are usually called gallery clocks. They're named after the place where they hung in the old days on the front of the gallery or balcony in a church or in a town hall. What we're looking at here is a Willard gallery clock. This is a beautiful gilded case, early 1800s gallery clock. You probably won't find one of these to collect, but it's good to know about them. The, again, gilded, this one uh, was in a church in Boston, I believe. It's now in the Willard House uh, Clock Museum that we mentioned earlier and that we'll talk a little bit more later about with the museum clocks. There are many of these gallery clocks, even large reproduction ones now, that look as if they came from some... Uh, uh, old, uh, old place in France, perhaps, but they have little battery movements on the back, but people find them quite, uh, quite attractive and useful for decorating. So you'll see modern gallery clocks, too, that don't have to cost very much. Other fun ones, this happens to be an electric one, large electric wall clock. You'll see it's from the Postal Telegraph Company that was uh, uh, in business in the early 1920s. This one is even illuminated. You see the lights inside, and you see the, the uh, kind of high-style deco styling of these, of these veins on the side here. This, um, uh, the Postal Telegraph clock was a competitor to another, another company, which also... Uh, got a time signal once an hour from a centralized telegraph office in order to keep these, time synchron these clocks synchronized on time all the time.